the North Coast 500. A 516 mile scenic route around the north coast of Scotland. It has some of the best driving roads and views Scotland has to offer. The best time to go? I would say whenever. And the best car to take? I would say whatever. I chose to take my Audi R8, which I picked up just a few months ago, which needed a lot of TLC. You have all watched me rebuild it, get it back on the road to finally get on this road trip. So yet again, we are on another road trip. The R8 is looking sick. The subscribers will know that it's not quite finished and it's not quite running 100% right. And that is just an understatement, but it is looking so good with the roof box on top. This time, it's me, Hannah, and Kevin has came along as well. I'm excited to get on the journey. We've already clocked up a fair few hundred miles. We're in Scotland already. And now it's time to get on the road and see where this road trip takes us. Let's go. So we got on the road to our first destination and hit our first problem. Wouldn't be a road trip without something going wrong. And this is the first thing. So we've already stopped once and there's a minimum oil light there, as you can see. You're supposed to refill about a litre now we got out and checked the oil, which means taking off the roof box and it was fine. Which means we've got a problem with the sensor. Now, when I turn it off, we'll leave it a second, won't touch it, and then I'll start it back up and it'll be gone this time. Now I kind of want to check the oil. <laughs> Okay, this time it did need oil. The storm is coming, but I'm prepared. So we were about here, and the North Coast 500 starts about here, just above Inverness. So we had a fair bit of driving to do. We checked in at our first location, had some food, and the next morning, we were awoken by some amazing views. Look at that manscaped. Do you mean landscape? No. Manscaped. Since I've discovered Manscaped, I've been spending a lot of time in the bathroom. With, of course, the Lawn Mower 3.0. It has skin safe technology, an LED light, and it's fully waterproof. It is truly the best ball trimmer around. And with the Perfect Package 3.0, you're not only gonna get the Lawn Mower 3.0, you'll get ball deodorant and ball toner, which conveniently all fits into the Manscaped Shed travel bag, which you'll get free if you use the link in the description box below and use code ARMSTRONG20. You'll also get free a set of Manscaped boxes and 20% off plus free international shipping. It really is the perfect package 3.0. Thanks Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Back to the road trip. So it turns out fitting a front splitter and side skirts extensions before you go to Scotland and drive on roads like this was a bad idea. Our accommodation was literally down there and we have to beach the car, well we had to beach the car up there because we got halfway down here and the front splitter was absolutely just dragging the road with it. So we've still got a fair bit to go up this road, it's going to be a nightmare. Fingers crossed we can get up it, four wheel drive, quattro, come on Audi, I know you've got it. Hey 
Okay, this is possibly the worst road to ever drive an R8 on. I can't drive. Oh, I can't drive in the middle of the road because oh, God, the, the center of the road is raised and it just drags on the splitter. So I have to drive on the edge. And then because the edges are raised up, it pushes me back into the middle. There's potholes everywhere. This is a definite rookie error. Oh God, big pothole. Made it! A quick wash down of the R8 and was ready to get back on the road. It seemed the further we went up north, the views got better and the weather got colder. It was nice to see other people enjoying the car and Kevin enjoying the beach. We settled into our accommodation and got ready for the North Coast 500, which we would start the next day. But, uh, a period of persistent rain to most areas this morning. Rain will be heavy in places and accompanied by blustery winds. Maximum temperatures 7 to 11 Celsius. Okay, today will be the first day we actually get on the North Coast 500, going from Inverness to Betty Hill around, along the east coast and it is absolutely throwing it down. The most miserable day we've had so far. But so far, the car's been good. But it's been getting tons of looks on the motorway, partly because of the colour and partly because of the roof box that's on the back, definitely. But I've got three quarters of tank of fuel. Hopefully that makes us all the way to the top at Betty Hill. Check back with you when we get there. See you then. The weather sorted itself out and even the car decided to sort itself out as well. Praised it for so long, as soon as we put 95 on fuel in, engine light. I can only think it's got something to do with that. Whether it is or not, we'll find out when we get to plug it in. And it's gone! <laughs> it literally fixed itself. The R8 is getting good at fixing itself. Well done. Well done, R8. We're so close to the third stop and we've stopped on. Look at the sunset and these roads. There's nothing on them. This is literally like the moon. around and I'm telling you nothing around and the roads are so good as well. Things really started to look up that day so I was bound to break something. I have broken the front splitter oh my days oh god. I misjudged going down this little bit of road so you can understand my celebration when I finally got back out of it. <laughs> and this is our room for tonight. Nice little shed. There's Kevin. Check this out. Nice. Go! Look at the beach. So for some reason Scotland is like known for having like really white beaches and like really blue sea as well. Like for some reason there's probably some technical term why they have this, something to do with the coral. But if you wrap it warm enough it's almost like you're on a tropical beach. It's, it's insane and every beach we've stopped at has been the same. It's just been completely white and completely blue. Apparently today is the day we get on the best driving roads. So let's get in the car and let's go. Well, 
when they meant driving roads, this is not quite what I had in mind. <laughs> this is, if I pronounce it right, the Barak Nabar or Balak Nabar. It looks an incredible road from pictures, but it's actually a quite a dangerous road. The Balak Nabar, a single track, twisting, mountainous road, rising up to 2,054 foot above sea level. But it's no racetrack. Speed over 30 mile an hour is rarely permitted. And this is really the only way out without taking a huge detour. I hope we can make it. Let's go. Now these hairpins going down the hill are not like the racetrack. Hannah's actually got out. She's hiking down there. She's that scared. <laughs> and these hairpins literally go down so steep. We're coming up to one right now. It is very technical. Into another hairpin. The road is quite uneven as well. And we have made it to the bottom of that. A crazy but amazing road. Now, I think it's time for some proper driving. This car a couple of months ago was literally a shadow of what it was now. modifications that we've done haven't been practical and some have but at the end of the day it's still an Audi R8 with a V8 engine with a gated manual box as well it's been absolutely incredible and to drive it on these roads like this the sound of it is just amazing Now I heard something once which says you don't realise you're in a moment until it becomes a memory and I feel like this whole trip is going to be one huge memory not only for me, Hannah and Kevin but also for this car. <laughs> it's got to drive these incredible roads like it should have been and it's got to be truly the everyday supercar and I think that's a metaphor for all of us even though some of us may have had a rough start in life or maybe you're just not where you want to be in life right now doesn't mean that you can't finally get there in one whole year my life has completely changed and in two whole months this Audi R8 has completely changed anything is possible I really want to motivate every single one of you that are watching this video and every single one of you that have followed me all the way up to this point. And if you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have, click that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, go set some new goals in the new year. Have a great Christmas everyone and a happy new year. See you in the next video. Peace out.